Hi, this is Bart Polson, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show how to calculate correlations or several correlations in a matrix using SPSS, a statistical program that's now known as PASW for predictive analytics software. I'm using version 17, but everything I'm going to do is identical in previous versions. Also, I'm doing this on my Mac, but the Windows version works essentially exactly the same. I'm going to use a data set called World95 that exists in the uh, SPSS sample data. So you can fish that one up if you want. This is a, a data set that has information on 109 countries from Afghanistan through Zambia and includes statistics like the population density, the major religion, literacy, and so on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the association between several variables uh, beginning with about female life expectancy and I'm going to use some variables that I will later use in a tutorial on multiple regressions so you can see what the, they look like individually and then collectively. So the first thing you need to do to get the correlations is to come up here to analyze and then to this one called correlate. We're going to be doing bivariate correlations and so this is the one we want to select. The first variable I'm going to use is average female life expectancy because in my regression I'm going to use that as the outcome variable. I can just double click that and it goes over. Oops. I'm going to also use um, literacy, the population who can read, the gross, domestic, the gross domestic product per capita, daily calorie intake, and birth rate per 1000. Uh, so I have five variables here total. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to leave all of the defaults, the Pearson correlation, the two-tailed test of significance, and flag significant correlations. I'm going to leave all of those the way they are and just press OK. And what I have is an output window. Unlike a spreadsheet like Excel, when you perform a procedure in SPSS, uh, the data exists in a window that looks like a spreadsheet, but the results of the analyses come in a separate window called an output window. And when you're performing uh, many statistical analyses, this is a much more sensible procedure. The first thing up here is what's called a syntax statement. It's a written record of the command. The nice thing about it is you can go back and use that again later if you're so inclined. This tells us that we perform correlations. This is the name of the active data set, world95.sav. And this is the correlation matrix. Notice that we have the names of the five variables here down the side from average female life expectancy through birth rate per 1,000 people and we have the same five variables listed across the top right here. Now in each cell, that's each box, we have the correlation of the of the variable in the row and the variable in the column. So what you have here, you see there's a bunch with a one that just is a variable correlated with itself and that's a perfect correlation. Correlations go from zero, which indicates no linear relationship, to a one, which indicates a perfect linear relationship, means everything falls exactly on a regression line. Um, plus and minus are simply indications of whether it's an uphill or downhill relationship, either a direct or an inverse association. Um, so the ones down the diagonal are simply each variable correlated with itself. And the matrix is symmetrical on the diagonal. So you see, for instance, the 865 right here is the same as the 865 right here. The 862, negative 862 right here, is the same as the 862 over here. Um, that's because life expectancy and birth rate is the same. The correlation between the two is the same as the correlation between birth rate and life expectancy. It's The order doesn't matter. Now, what we have in each one of these cells is three numbers. Let's take this one, the relationship between female life expectancy and the percent of people in the country who can read. The first number is the Pearson correlation. That is the Pearson product moment correlation, better known to most people as R. And this one is 0.865, which is a very high positive value. So for countries with higher levels of literacy, women also have higher average life expectancies. As we go down, oh, the second number is the significance level, or the p-value. And generally, if this number is less than 0.05, and all of these are, they're actually less than 0, 0, 001, then the uh, correlation is considered statistically significant, or you can consider it reliably different from zero. 
Uh, it's not exactly what it is, but it's close enough. And then this last number is the n, is the, is the number of countries that have data on both of these variables. And you can see it varies a little bit. Here it's 107, whereas here it's 109. Right here, only 75 countries had information on the, both of the variables. Um, but you're still able to get the correct correlations that we need. Now, the important thing that I want to point out about this, because I'm also going to use this correlation matrix when I do multiple regression, is that all of the associations are statistically significant. Every one of them has these two asterisks next to it. And what that means is that the correlation is significant at less than 0.1. In fact, normally people would put three asterisks to indicate it's less than 0.01. A single asterisk would indicate less than 0.5, which is the standard level of statistical significance. So they are all statistically significant. All of these variables are highly associated with each other. Uh, not just in terms of p-values, but in terms of absolute values. The smallest one is this correlation between literacy and GDP, and it's 552, which by most standards is still a very large association. These ones down here with birth rate are negative, which means that, a, again, the more children a woman has uh, for each country, the lower the life expectancy, also the lower the literacy rate, also the lower the GDP, also the lower daily caloric intake, uh, which probably has more to do with these countries seeing, simply being less developed, having fewer resources and poorer health care. Anyhow, this is a correlation matrix, and it gives us the associations between each of these variables, two variables at a time. In the next one, I'm going to look at multiple regression, which looks at the association between all of these variables collectively. Um, but that's it for right now.